Realistic Flames is one of the most popular paint jobs in the airbrushing business. As soon as you try to put it on an RC car body though, it gets a lot more challenging. There are a bunch of different techniques of how to try to get that Realistic Flame effect painting it in reverse on a Lexan body. I'm just going to show you the way I do it and get pretty good results. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to use a practice board because it's much easier to illustrate this technique. What this practice board is, is just a piece of plexiglass and some transparency paper. And I'm just using a little masking tape to hold it down. The reason I like these practice boards so much is because it's real easy to get an idea of what your paint job is going to look like on Lexan. I love using urethanes. I'm going to use the urethanes from Custom Shop, but I'm going to make sure they use a little adhesion promoter to make sure that urethanes bond well with the Lexan. First color I'm going to use is Aztec Candy Gold. This is a real bright candy gold, but very transparent. So the next color is going to be real bright behind it. During this project, you're going to see me change the background a couple of times. The only reason I'm doing that is so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Now I've changed to a darker background to illustrate a little bit better. Now I'm going straight to my chrome yellow and I'm going to start laying in what are going to end up being the highlights of my fire. Now I'm going to go back with my stencil and sharpen up each one of these little chunks. Now, I'm going to come back with an orange glow candy one more time, so all the colors from this point on are going to be even darker and deeper in the background. I'm adding to the original chunks of flame I had, so those original chunks look like highlights on the flames. I'm using chrome yellow mixed with a little candy orange, so it's a little bit darker yellow this time. Again, I go back with my stencil just to sharpen up a couple of the edges, not all of them, just a couple. Now I'm using Racing Orange, much darker than the chrome yellow, so it'll sit behind the original set of flames and look deeper inside the design.
now I'm finishing my design with Hot Rod Red. You will be pretty surprised how light all these flames really are up against a dark background. So you can pretty much hog on the red here and it's not going to mess up your design. What you're really doing is giving your flames a red background to sit on and it brightens up all the flames just a little bit. back in my design with black. Fast color makes great rattle can um, solid colors for Lexan bodies so that would be ideal right here. Alright let's see what we got. No real need to be real careful right here that's why I love practice boards. Transparency paper really cheap. This time, it gave us some pretty dark flames and a pretty dark background because I really went easy on the red. Now, if you want it brighter, go heavier on the yellow up front. If you want it more chunky type flames, then obviously bigger chunks, less colors. And of course, you can do this in other colors like green or blue. Trick is, keep playing with it, figure out what type of flames you really like for your project, and then knock it out and see what you come up with. This is what it looks like on a crowd pleaser body I painted. I used some uh, green flames and it came out really, really cool. That's it. One of the most difficult techniques in the business. Not so hard. If you want to find out more, you know where to track us down. Airbrushtricks.com. I'm Tony D.